don't really just want to try and drop the stock hatch, but you might be forced to, depending on how long things go. J90 gets one, looks for the second, and DP Fire, he's looking a little bit high when actually the body is a little bit low. There's a catch round, and J90 gets his second for it. DP Fire with the pistol wants to drop in. The drone is just on the cover and support, but with 20 seconds, well, it's J90 for his third, and DP Fire locks it in. Smoke canister spot. Forrest is digging in really deep onto the desk there. And we'll be getting that plan down. 45 seconds, unless that C4 gets the kill, doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, they came down the bottom of the back stairs as well. They entirely flooded over. Ethan gets one and two on the way out the door and finds no more. Unfortunately, locked down in the core of the red corridor. <laughs> that is one of those players gone on the back line. Four stuck upstairs with that diffuser in hand. Is going to get dropped now. This could be a very well Chiefs round here because that diffuser is down, because they are so spread out, and because Ethan is yet able to pick up another kill here as J90 goes down as well. Holding above the hatch, worked out properly. You can see Astralis. They ran the numbers at the very end there, and Iconic's going to find at least one on his way out of this round. Doesn't get the the second, but it was very well played there from Chiefs. More, it was towards the door itself to get rid of that Banshee, and that buys them a second of space. DP Fire is in a scrappy engagement. Boyd, he's able to find J90 and takes the drop on the hatch. They can't quite find Bounce, and he's off and out of there. He's waiting for somebody to try and chase and follow him. And there it is, Forrest doesn't need to. Swings around over the top, gets one back. Sounds like it was the side of an explosive that was able to drown and drop the player on the far side. Don't know if they're gonna get him up, but it's definitely not gonna be Boydy that gets it. DP Fire gets the catch on the way back round onto the site. He's ready to rock and roll and he's in now as Forrest goes a little bit deeper. Digital gets the cut and the single player on the window. Forrest bites back with a huge double, adding to his one from before. Ethan, a big rotate now. He's not entirely sure where the kit is going down. There's a drone that reveals the play, the impact. Doesn't have the same that it could, and he sprays as the player flees a little bit further away. 40 seconds now. You can see Astralis have, well, separated all the way around and found the round. Can make them have to change the idea. Iconic. He sat waiting, and Ethan swings round, takes care of DP5. Forrest is inside with the kit in the elevator, trying to find the way Ooh. through. It's cold on the swing round. Boydy suddenly under the pressure from Iconic, who drives himself through the site. There's a second one, but they got to get that kit and get it home in a two versus one. Ethan, he's on range. He's waiting for the call. He knows they've got six seconds to try and get that plant down. He knows it's technically now a one versus one, at least for a handful of seconds. He's going to try and swing round on the ping. Oh, he gets, oh, he gets the down! One shot, one hit! And you can see the rotation from underneath. Ethan finds the fight, finds the first. Does he know the second is on the blue stairs as well? Doesn't seem like he does. Iconic, he can take this, and he does. Swings round as Forrest gets one on the side itself. Bouncing, bounces back. He's looking now for the fight onto Iconic. He hoped he would dip a little bit further in. Takes the drop. Prefires the wrong way, and Iconic, <laughs> ring around the roses. He's out of here. See you later. They know he's got to try and dig his way through. They're going to have to find a fight. The Prefire can't get the connection. There's J90 with one, and DP Fire. Puts Astralis back in the lead. Ethan's on a pretty aggressive rotate now around onto the other side. There's Forrest though, popping off one more digital for the door and out of the way. Forrest, close quarters, gets one. It's a flawless. But once again, Astralis, they're just keeping them guessing. Here is Boydie creeping his way along the corridor, gets the take onto one. Do they know about Iconic? Well, he doesn't mind. He's keeping his cool. He's saying, I didn't know where you were. You don't know where I am. But now you're about to. He swings round, doesn't get the first fight. Finds two, but can't get. The lineup, the collateral, Forrest gets one back. Astralis is filtering their way up the stairs. Boydy looking for the person that's on the bottom of the main stairs here. He's going to get quite close. Actually spots one, finds the kill. Suddenly, it is a two and two. Digital takes a small amount of damage shuttle on the close corner, though. Oh, he's so close to the door, and I don't think Boydy knows, but he's pre-firing the angles. The hot ping comes through. There's the pressure. Now he's aware, but 15 seconds. He's got to try and find a fight either way. The hop comes through. They can't get the connection. It's a trade off a quad here for Boydy. One more to keep Chiefs fighting. Fighting for one more, he's going wide. There's a pre-fire. There is Astralis sitting at the top of the group. He tried his best there. It was a quad kill to come through, but an Anala with a pre-fire. A bit of a roam, might need to try and come back. You can see Mowgli's in a position to catch them if they go a bit further, but Ethan is in a better one. Shinker is caught out from the vertical. Do you see if you can try and put the pressure upwards? You can see Ethan is trying to make them find him a double here over the top. He's having a great time. P4 bites back. Rise knocks on the door, says hello, and they say, 
Well, unfortunately, goodbye there. Rise around the corner. It's a three versus three. And is there going to be a little bit of a swing around the corner? They're lying there's down. A there's a foot. There's a player. There's a death. There's a trade. Round of the backside. Rise is the cover. They're now stacked up. You can see the Chiefs rotate onto the main double door all the way through. But it's Bibu to catch off that last little spark inside blue. The reveal on Digital's position comes through. He just sees a sliver of a Wolves player. Gets one. Oh, gets two. I thought oh, it was down. It was a grenade. He doesn't get it, and he doesn't have a route out. No, the door was soft, but he just finds an escape. Mowgli's in. They're locked out. There's a couple for Chiefs over the side. A three versus three. A post plan in just as much time as the first round, and that we've done it all within a minute. There's a second that hops over. They're down, and suddenly it's a triple. And there's a fleeing Frenchman who's getting out of there because he knows the cost. The pistol round. There's the pop, and there is a quad for Mowgli. <laughs> Fury tap, but uh, well, it, it seems like the round will be over very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Going downstairs, Please. they're not even focusing on the bar it's here. The loon's birthday, stop giving us so much stress. Wolves are inside the site. Rise swings round, gets dropped. Boydy finds one and finds the second. Stacked up, but there's pressure on dirt. There's three and four. Shinker is all alone within the blink of an eye. At least puts down one, but quickly picked back up. The drop out, there's the punch, there's the jump, there's the miss. They just slip on by. Bibu's in the sight with a shotgun. The American what? built is able to get one. What? Gets two. No, Shinka got the pick up. Bouncing bites back. The kid is cold. They're moving in and amongst the smoke. Mowgli's going big. Gets the down on the player. There's one at the bottom of the garage. Gets the fight back. Two versus one. Camera. Trying to find it out. It doesn't quite have the angle. He planted in a bit of an off spot and pre fired and almost found the kill. There's the down. Yes, go for the hammer <laughs> But they've hopped out the window. They're going for the swing. Just didn't get the catch of the wing. The pre-fire. It's in. It's out. Oh, it's home. It gets it. Ethan with the triple kill. He's waiting for a bit of a push instead before it. There's the drone. There's the take. Somehow able to pop off one with the big LMG. There's a second. Mowgli moves on the smoke for the third. They're locked in around the corner over the shield. And does an ADS a quad. Is he going to get the ace connection? He knows yes, where the player is. It's an ace. For Mowgli! We have created a bit of damage onto the structure that is set up around the side. There is going to be a injure and kill onto Ethan, so no ace for him. He will be traded out, however, and the Chiefs will continue to be one man ahead. So they know, well, they know that there's someone holding down either side of the rotator post plant and locked down on the corridor. It is awkward and uncomfortable, especially when you're up against an LMG that can take as many fights as it wants. And the flashes, they're gonna try and cook out and burn this. They're able to pop that shield, but it's Ethan locking in for one more. The kit gets around the corner. They've got the ping, they know where he is, but the cover is there. B4, he goes deep, deep, deep. He's able to find the kill onto the kit. He makes it cold, they can't get it in time. And we are back level pegging. Gym equipment, we see some damage done. He pre-fires, but bouncing. Free fires back, he gets one. Shinker at least stems the flow, but it's digital that puts it back in. He gets dropped, traded off. Rise and Bibu, the two historic players. Rise on the rotate round over the top. He's gonna throw the impact. There's a player, no way, there's the drop on the kit. Four seconds, there's a catch again. He has the verticality. Wolves. That's it, droned over the top. The grenade is going to do a huge amount back to Bibu. Not quite fully caught. Shinka sprays through. Rice is the cover. P4 with the double bouncing. He bites back the spray over the top of the window, but they can't quite get themselves all the way in, I say, as he does. A three versus two. Still at least the man in their favor, but there's one over the top of the stairs. There's a bit more cementing. The kid is cold in between the two remaining players. 20 seconds. Listening, watching traces spray over the shoulders, Chiefs. Two players to try and get it. P4 finds one. It's a spray. It's a Wolves win. It is a Wolves win indeed. And with that, Chiefs unfortunately left without a victory here. They tried it again. They got close. Towards Telus, but the good news is he has drone support to move forward. And what a beautiful hunt as he takes out Iaga. Baits him into the open with a drone. He's oh! got some problems, but he's able to correct him. A snapshot through the wall as he knocks out Spirits too. I say that again, but despite that, Iagator moving himself forward, now reviving a down teammate. And just in time too, Katarana's going to be able to jump back up from the back of the vault here, take out yet another member of the x roster, and leave Gomez all on his own inside of gold here. Playing against the 1v3, couldn't even stop the plant because he had been pressed so far back. Does have some intel on at least one member rotating out from the interior depths of security. But look at just how far away these players are. So many heavy crosses against him. There's no escape. It's also with a problem for Cyclops right now.
now. The Intel game just isn't really seemingly getting the correct intel. There's been a couple of things that don't really seem to be oh, wow. okay. I'm just going to shut up because suddenly three kills come out for Cyclops out of absolutely nowhere. Spirits and Dios are the only players left in the fight now as Cyclops have suddenly opened up the free plant opportunity for themselves. Spirits trying to play from the inside of this smoke. They'll lose it, but there's still a partial one faded away elsewhere here. He tries to pick up a kill, but it won't happen as Black Ray cleans up shop. Iagator, he's still hunting on this mid floor. And it's in, he's got the shield set up, but he's dead and gone now. Yaga with a beautiful clack of the head. And now for Cyclops, they're down two men. They need some assistance and this plant. Suzuki tries for something, but he can't get it done. Iagator now with nades will tag up Kino. Another one into Red Hall, but Spirits has made the flank and potentially the last kill. Got her out of peaks back through pistol out. Tries with a hip fire, but Spirits, you gotta hop too. You gotta catch up to the man, and he will. Hunts him down. That skeleton key going to give up the goods as well. Lots of stuns in here. Black Ray, he's not paying attention to the corner. Spirits is getting away with too much. What is happening? Somebody kill this guy. And now they've got to chase down this player that descended into the basement a few seconds ago. They don't have time for this, and they don't have the players for it now either. Player by Beaver should know where he is now going off of those tracers, but as he works himself oh, back, oh it's going to be Kino God. with the peak and dash. Next set starting to build towards a square take here. Spirits has actually worked his way into archives, and he's found himself a dead Aegator. Right through here, inside of open area, has a couple of other avenues he can potentially abuse. He'll hop up on the desk as Spirits starting to move forward, but underneath is yet another Cyclops member. Black Ray, now the only one up. DS will pick up a teammate and get the case and start the plant. He's got the Overwatch with DS. What? A dead Cyclops member doesn't know where the plant's going down. This is the problem I talked about earlier with Cyclops here. There's moments of brilliance inside of the Intel game. And now brings us into a 1v1. Tries to pre-fire. Doesn't oh. have the right position, though, and has given away too much intel. Spirits continues to position himself. A great spot to cut off any rotations that may be forced at a Cyclops oh to mid -side. Not even going to need to follow that one through, though. As Gomez's nade takes care of it without a problem. Kino halfway through the plant. Spirits that he can even further position, getting himself a second kill on the round here. Blackray running in, though, taking full control of Small. And he still has three additional members of Xset to knock out. Such a tough battle, and he's not going to be able to win it as Dia strikes true from Xset and wins out the round from them. This pedestal that they've made for themselves upstairs will be able to get Suzu out of play as Spirits continues his reign of terror. Just spitting bullets at the CAG members. They know where another one is as well, and he continues oh. to shoot a nade out. And can he get it? He can! Oh my god! Iagator does have a nitro cell to try and prevent any verticality inside of stock from being played. His Gomez will go down, but it's not been confirmed just yet. It's gonna be Diaz to take down Anna and a nitro cell out to take out Diaz, though. Very minimal time. Iagator, he it. can't get it, and that's gonna be a pack out of Charlotte. A little less than worried oh, the about plants that going right down now. in the Already smoke. Inside of the site. Meanwhile, they have made the hop with two players, and Yaga is also cleaning up from another angle here. Kino's been able to secure the plant. Iagator and oh. Garen are rotating, and what a snapshot from Aniton, though. Taking out not just one, but two players here. Gatorada also trying to contribute into this as Cyclops not done fighting just yet. And keep in mind, Aniton just did that on a clash, mind you. Spirits, though, making quick work of Gatorada over at top square, leaving Aniton alone and not for too long. Diaz will comfort him as, unfortunately, four Cyclops. They are going to be knocked out. He's going to claim more of the window here for Terrace. as fantasy he tried to chase down. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. All right. All Not right. like this. All right. I know he literally this game is dashes now. and it and drop shots with the Monty yet again. Cyclops going for, so far, a very clean game on the opener, but Black Ray not ready for the push. No. And it's what? <laughs> Gets Stop! it on the Monty instead for the trade, leaving Rare alone in the 1v4 now. He's going to be able to walk right up, take down Aniton. Thankfully, he's not paying attention. The shots come in as well for the 308 that Stokes mentioned before. The only sniper oh. rifle in the game here for bolt action. You can see a couple soft pings coming in to reflect that, but it's going to be STK starting things out well for himself there. The M590 pump making immediate impact of the run. Oh, no, but Rare, the pre-fire is in the wrong position. So Black Ray is able to spin back around and get the headshot and follow it up with one more on top of that beautifully placed from Black Ray here. And now Cyclops is in control, bringing this down to a 4v3. Fantasy as well, reading the wrong side of this play, but he quickly corrects when Iagator crosses to the other side. They still kept this even at a 2v2. 
Cyclops having a little bit of trouble. Oh my god! Oh, the, <laughs> the brief fire from him as he traced this Black Rain's path across the opening. That's now going to put it down to a 1v2. Suzu with the first good pickup, though, trades out the frag right back onto Fantasy. Case off in the distance, and Suzu, zero information as to where this player is. It's going to be a freebie for SDK as he waits in the wings. Not only the Banshee, but also attempts to out his nade and see if we can find anybody else. Fantasy with one. Fantasy will get gunned down, though, as CAG able to reclaim here inside of service. End up with Reclaimer here on the Selma Breach, and we'll see if that ends up working out handy. Almost gets taken out by the Selma, actually, and it's going to be Suzu at the end of the day to claim that. They've re-entered from a different part of the building, not really favoring that breach they had made prior. Oh, well. Smells a wrap around it. Things look pretty okay for them here. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. They've got the case down on the ground. Miracle does not have a way to directly contest against that plant. Cyclops even giving them a moment here as they actually get off the case for a second, so he hasn't confirmed it yet, but he won't even need to. Go back and watch that. It was originally a StarCraft 2 commentator as well, but past that, some more fun, and we're going to be hopping in. So Rare here is we'll be able to take down Aya Gator, and it's in as well. What a shot from him playing in through the smoke, but that's only going to be an equal trade back and forth. Once again, keep in mind how the Glasscope works now. It's not like it was a few years back we were seeing it played in more, but we don't have to worry about that too much longer. Anyways, fan Fantasy knocks him out of the game. Final round, but for Furia, there's no time remaining here. STK and Fantasy burst back out, knock out those last two players. We can see Black Ray just brute forcing his way past him. This is going to be so tough to pull off any bullets against him, and he's actually going to go down, potentially to some shots from his teammate there, but it'll be finished off. Fantasy now that he has him down. Wow. We will see another player from the Furia roster ending up into a downstate here. Aniton knocking him out, and yet another one coming in from Aniton as well as he continues to hold from the inside of Tea Room. Now, this is where things get complicated, especially now that it's a two versus three. Oh, and then we'll make it a two versus two fantasy. He's planning inside of karaoke, but is the cross held properly? Oh no, no move from Aniton as he shut down SDK. It's a 3K for him on the round. He has that he has that scarf on his head that was like sweater material. And my brain literally oh. could just not pull up scarf, I swear. But oh my, as I'm droning on about other things, Fury is gonna hop too. I thought we had some more time. Apologies about that folks, but three Cyclops members are dead. Make it four. It's all down to Iagator. Iagator, the only player left standing here. It seems Cyclops will have a little bit more work to do if they're going to re-attempt this site. The impact's oh my out. God. He actually Get denied the here. plant too, and there was not a lot of time left on that. Less than a second remaining on the plant situation. He didn't stick around to continuously deny the pickups. That player should have relocated now. However, Iagator is still going to be in position he to fight this <laughs> But STK with an ace nade here. Bouncing back and forth in between angles. Has some ADSs here to be able to assist him as well. Waiting for the swing, but Handy's just too strong. Especially with him playing from Mexico. That swing is going to work perfectly into his pocket as Black Ray will take down STK. It only stops a couple bullets nowadays for Blackbeard Shield. That's why you don't see him nearly as often. They've already lost control of the other side of this site. We are seeing the plant go down on the inside of that one. Susan will attempt to reascend the stairs here, but it won't work out. Furia shut it down at the bitter end of regulation and do extend this lead into a much safer position here. 7-4 to four is going to be the final score, and you can see they're very happy about it there.